Hey Donnie, guess what day it is? Uh, off day, weekend, so I get to put my feet up. <laughs> Relax. It's, it's project day. <laughs> he knows, we've already talked about it. We're not gonna walk. Yeah. We got a list. We won't get through the entire list. I'll put the list up so you can see what it is, but we'll get through a good bit of it. But So I'm, I'm caffeinating him. I'm caffeinating That's him while right. I feed the cat. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and I, we, she fed me a great big old steak last night, so I'm not hungry this morning at all. Oh, still. that's good. Yeah. So what do we think about this $99 a month FSD uh, well, subscription versus a $199 Well, I guess it, a has, month. it has a little bit to do with, like a lot of things, you know, you can get your cable for forty nine ninety five for the first six months, and then they jack it up to you know one hundred and sixty nine bucks or whatever it is. Uh, uh, so I, I would I, I think it's great. Let me be very say it different. I think it's good, but it's still if I knew it was going to be ninety nine dollars a month and and go up very slowly, like over a few years, it might be you know. Um, a hundred and twenty-nine dollars. You know, really go up slow. Then I would probably go and wouldn't invent, spend the money up front. I just get pay the monthly subscription. But um, because you have to think about it, if you go out and totaled your car, and you've paid forty thousand dollars for full self-driving, the insurance company is going to give you forty cents for your full. Yeah, so, they don't like to give you any money for that. That's right. So, uh, you know, the practical thing, like I've said about Ruby and Jules, I'm going to be extremely hesitant to send them off to, you know, run pick my groceries up at Walmart because as soon as they get a small rear end collision, they're going to total it and I'm going to lose my full self-driving. So that that's one of the things, especially in these early days, um, uh, the $99, I guess I'm, I am positive on it. Only slight concern about future cost increase because I plan to be having a, a Tesla full self-driving for the next 30 years or so. Uh, so, you know, um, but if at some point I thought 200 bucks a month, especially when you were, uh, you know, as I get older, I don't plan to, you know, I'm not, I don't drive jewels a lot of, now. And, and it is, if, um, I don't know, I, I guess I'm saying I like the idea, I think. I think a hundred bucks a month is. I I would tell people, it's worth a hundred bucks a month. Yeah, there's a lot of. Well, um, be, for a hundred bucks for full self-driving car, maybe today with which is supervised, maybe it's not quite worth a hundred bucks to every man, woman, and child. But in the in the if you've got a hundred bucks now, go on and spend it. And but in the future, if he if he gives it for a hundred dollars a month for your your Tesla, then and you could send it to pick the kids up at the soccer game. I mean, that would be the best 100 bucks you ever spent. Yeah, well, Don's been head down this week, but there's uh, a few people that, for whatever reason, their car didn't get the 30-day trial. I'm going to say yet, and they were like, nice to Elon to tell me I'm going to get it, and then I'm sitting around looking for it for basically a couple weeks now, and I still don't have it. Well, so that's happened this week. And then, um, you know, there's a lot of people out on Facebook that seem determined to be negative and go oh, out sure. there and like, it ain't, worth, it. it ain't worth nothing. It did this X, Y, and Z. It's not worth anything. Well, I think that's a little short-sighted. And then, you know, there's also the, it's great. It has no problems ever, you know, Tesla fan girl boy thing and stuff. But uh, I think the thing about this was mostly that people were concerned about feelings emotions about well i paid twelve thousand or fifteen thousand dollars uh fifteen uh i, I you know, paid a lot of money for it and i was had to sit there for a minute was it really with the extra zero on the end and it was um <laughs> you know i paid all this money for it and now it's this cheap tesla screwed me you know tesla did me wrong again this guy just read a post i just bought my fiber truck and paid 12k for fsd and now the day later my truck's depreciated well not really but because it's 99 dollars a month now so it's really a 
my question to you is really an emotions thing for the people that have all, you know, Tesla has this thing where the prices of the used cars go up and down, you know, am I out as soon as I walk off the lot X number of money on my car or, you know, I paid this much for FSD and now it's this much instead, you know, it's all those feelings about it. So, yeah, I, I, I look, uh, at $99, uh, it's, it never was any doubt. I have traditionally kept cars for many, many years. But I can see people who are still young and like to trade cars every couple, three years, then the, the and, and the, somehow they pay $12,000 because they were nuts to do that. I would have bought the subscription even at 200 bucks a month if I knew I was going to get rid of it in three years. Yeah, sure. Even five, I mean, yeah, Elon you're... warned them. He said, you know, if you're going to hang on to your car long term, the, the, Price is better, but if you're not going to hold on to the car long term, then you know. Uh, it, hey, the average age of the cars in America are 14 years. So even if you use that number, then if that's you think you're closer to the average versus, you know, I'm the exception. I mean, my GMC is 20. I got it in January, uh, December of 2003. So you know, th it's literally. Uh, that old, uh, 20 years old, and now it's on its 21st year, and I don't plan to get rid of it. Well, maybe when I cyber truck, but who knows? I was just going to add, maybe it, he'll come up uh, full self-driving in the future. I didn't mean immediately. Will be based on the number of drives and the mileage per month, so that it won't be. Maybe it'll go back up to two hundred dollars, but that uh, you'll get. That's the full price but if you don't drive it that much maybe he'll he'll give credit you some money back because you know there are going to be people like like us we've got two cars you know maybe we uh only get full self-driving on one but if we take the other car i'd like the option of buying a per trip or a per week uh, you know something uh, along those lines and i'm sure there's lots of way to raise revenue and money nowadays and and i think that Tesla's got some really smart people working for him, and they they'll be able to do that. But I think he really wants people to use full self driving, and don't he doesn't want price of the car to be an impediment for people owning an electric car. He does not want the price of full self driving to be an impediment for people uh, being safe in vehicles and not getting killed in accidents. And the only way you can do that is you got to make full self driving dirt cheap. It goes back to the video DVDs. You know, when they wanted $200 for a, a, a VHS tape of your favorite movie, they were pirated like crazy. They made them $19.95 and they sold millions of them. So you, you got to decide, I want to sell one and make, make all my profit on one, or I want to sell $10 million and make a little bit on all of them. And I think Elon's the $10 million to make a little bit on all of them. Yeah, well, here's where I miss tesla daily and rob mauer oh well, rob, please i feel back. so uninformed i mean i guess there's other people out there but we haven't really picked one started yeah. watching one regularly the grok thing on x is the best is yeah, helping now it's, yep. it's that's helping two or three tesla articles a day with the tweets to support them um but um you know from a stockholder perspective and tesla's profitability and staying a viable and healthy company um, you know, people finally woke up about the, um, money coming in from the supercharger yeah, network. Yeah. Surprise, our, surprise. Right. Some of us, not me and Don first, but well, what we, our friend Andy, you know, informed, it explained it to us. So we've been clued in for a while now, but the prop, it's sort of coming around that people are understanding the profitability, um, about it. And that was this week. So, you know, and paying for FSD and the subscription of FSD with the supercharger starting to bring in really big bucks. And, you know, they've like you said, there's lots of ways to raise money. And it may be with the supercharger network so profitable that FSD doesn't have to be, I'm going to say, such an outlandish, you right. know, 15K price because we have other ways to keep things going on. But... Anyway, so how about those plaid seats? Oh, Kyle right. was giddy with joy about the new Tesla. I don't, I, I miss the exact word, the sports seating, the race enthusiast, the... Uh, well, I tell you what, if I was, if they would have done a plaid Y with that feature, and I would have probably, I would have bought a, a plaid Y. I, look, I like plaid X, S's, but 
it's just hard for me. They haven't, the Plaid S hasn't figured out a way to make it easy for me to get in and out of them. So it's just really low. But I really like, uh, I like getting in and out of my Y. But I would love to have the Plaid Model Y with all the fancy seats and the interior stuff. That'd be good. Yep, it looks it looks sweet. I don't I, know that it would be comfortable, but I like the I particularly oh, like the plaid symbol oh, up yeah. in the headrest, and and I could definitely see the younger crowd, the the racing driving enthusiast crowd loving those seats. Yeah, so. it, it really makes you want what uh, um, Franz and you know are, is he being turned loose now that some of the uh, you know committed like I, I'm sure the the Roadster two has been um he's done all of his design work on, on that i mean they know what they're going to build if they ever get around to building it uh at this point and they're probably just waiting for some kind of technology that they think like the dry cell batteries or something uh you know there's still a few things that tesla kind of has hinted at over the years besides full self-driving driving coast to coast unattended you know uh there's some wireless charging is going to be a popular thing you know there's there's still some areas but those are um you know franz the creative you know the packaging uh he's kind of now maybe we're going to get more things like the seats and a few other things like that maybe the programmers will do some of these neat apps on the on the screen so we can some of the things we'd always wanted we can get them we could only wish like favorites uh superchargers right uh my supercharger yeah. Badge collection. Yeah, if I, if I have superchargers to choose from, I want the ones that are 24, that have closed restrooms. I don't really care about high-end shopping. Uh, in fact, I want you to remove all the high-end shopping superchargers. <laughs> I want all the ones with stone cold, stone cold creamery. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Hi. <laughs> That's my good boy, Morris. Hi. Come here. Good boy, Morris. I've been checking the maple trees for aphids. Got a little distracted. He's already ate. He's changing with my kitties. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Tucks and Marty and stripes on his walkabout. So one of the things on today's agenda is to put the clips on my glass tabletop. Um... The one we got for free last year, the clips had cracked and broken like you'd expect on older tables. Um, but I only printed one. I need four just to make sure this is going to work before I spend the filament. I took up the heated one, put down the non-heated one. <laughs> Both stainless steel. I just don't want to wear out the heated one. I'm thinking, you know haven't checked this one yet mostly things are looking good I did order a second bottle I plan to keep up with it as best I can every day a little bit here and there this one hasn't been in trouble it's just that one tree over there some you know they've all had a few but that one tree was infested with the aphids hey panther good morning hi Good morning. Yeah, there's your chicken. So I'm going to have a start with what Don and I always refer to at work as the low-hanging fruit. In other words, if we've got 100 customer problem reports on the queue, some are more difficult than others, 100 looks bad, let's go knock out the 30 that we know we can handle. Then we only have 70 on the queue. It makes it look more manageable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. We got Marty and Morris. Marty's on the bridge and Morris is by the gnome home. Not sure what they're doing except just enjoying the sun. Anyway, we don't have a hundred things on our to-do list, but we clearly have some we can knock out really quick and shorten the list and make us feel productive. And I'm going to suggest we go that route. <laughs> Hi. 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 I've got Yoda, BB-8, and Darth Vader laid out for Don to secure. I'm going to put air in the wheelbarrow tire so I can use it. Standard operating procedures. 
Don is hanging our cool tire clock. Yeah. It's on its way up there. Hold it up and let him see. Yes. I don't think we showed it before. It may have um, <clears throat> found its way to us. That's correct. It's going above Ruby's thing. Yeah. It's way cool. Yeah, it <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> Started to walk away and he's like, it's done, it's done. Well, yeah. There well, it is. Poof, it there it is. It took all the time to measure it. Yeah, it get it straight and centered and all that good stuff. stuff. It looks great. Thank you. You're welcome. Unfortunately, they weren't wrong about the wind. <laughs> they weren't wrong, not even a little bit. Nope, it's very windy. You can hear it, you can see it. Don's taking the wheelbarrow down here in front for me. I asked him to get the bag of dirt out of the back of the van. And one thing led to another. I'm not trying to plant everything today. Um, but at least a few impatience across the front. You know, I'm just staying busy doing my thing while Don's busy doing his thing. And I'm directing. I'm the orchestrator today of the list. I already checked one thing off for you. Wow. Hang tire clock. Yeah. Strike strike through on the list. Right there's good. There you uh, well you can take it to the second one. It doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you. You're, you're so helpful. Oh, thank you so Holler at me when you're done with the I'm gonna wear gloves so my hands don't get too dirty. Holler at me so we can go do the table together. Okay. One pot down and Lord only knows how many more to go, but not all of them today. That one next. And then there's one right here around the corner. I'm going to come out with some hot sauce. You aren't supposed to like the smell of hot sauce. And it's cheap. And, um, you know, I'll right before we go in, I'm going to spray a little insecticidal soap. Maybe if it's not this windy and drop some hot sauce down. Yeah, I get all the leaf debris out. I scoop out the creeping jenny. I stir up the top really good. I add a little bit of new fresh dirt on top, although this is pretty good because these pots were new last year. The dirt's in good shape. And then I put everything back. Oh, he's scary. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> dark. Yeah, the only one that's been up for any length of time ever was BB-8. And I probably left him up a little too long last year and he looks pretty worse for wear. That's why I stuck him over here. But Yoda, wow. Yoda's big. I wish I had an R2-D2. He's my favorite. All time favorite. But yeah. I like Yoda though. Yoda looks good. Thank you, Donnie. You're welcome. Yeah, I told Don we're gonna put him up and we might have to set him down. <laughs> it's so windy. Looks like it's gonna fit perfect. Yeah, I gotta do. Undo it looks these exactly. That looks exactly right. Yeah. Hey, Donnie, we're using the 3D printer for something practical. Really? Two times in a row. Yeah, really. That's why it saved me like at least two bucks. <laughs> How do you think that fella had this problem before? They're exactly the same. It took me forever to find it. I mean, I searched and I searched and whatever he put in for his search words, me and him, we were not, yeah. we were not saying the same yeah. language. Need to go put the, the crack. I need to help him with his searchability because yeah. if it took me that long to find it and I'm a search girl, mm, that was a little bit, but yeah. I appreciate him. Well, we should probably, um, I'll put this back up here I'll just, and I'll stick the screws in it just to hold it up. I think what you have to do is like you said. You pretty much either flip the table over, put this down on the ground, and then put the legs on it. I'll do it when we're ready, however you want it, but I need to go print three more. Yeah, you need to go get the print going. We did discover that there's one other type of clip in the center, so I might, might look to see about those. At least one more in the center. Yeah. Oh, actually, there's one on each end, too. So Don hung my tree face over here on this tree for me. Let's check it out. We can see him from the bedroom window. He's probably not going to last because he's the wrong type of filament for outdoors. But, um, way cool. I can always buy some outdoor filament and, you know, print him again. I like it. What I don't like is all the stilt grass that's coming up. It just makes me want to cry. That is the tree that had 
poison ivy going up it. You see that little vine to the left of the tree guy? It's poison ivy vine, but it's cut off. It's dead, but it's not something I want to be touching. Do I see any poison ivy at the base of the tree? I do not. That five leaf thing that looks a little like poison ivy's Virginia creeper. And this is wild grapevine. But I won't be surprised when I see some of it coming up there. Okay, the other three corners are printing plus two side clips that hopefully will work. They only added 20 minutes to the print, so about two and a half hours. I told Don next up was the lawnmower blade. Probably not a super long thing, and I need to mow again, so it would be nice if it was in tip-top shape. So this is the blade off the landfill. I wire brushed it and I just ran it just a little bit over the edge it's pretty sharp I just cleaned the edge a little bit but the uh, the blade that we had been using for is it six or seven years it's in bad shape it's in it so I'm gonna take this blade and put on the um, put on the um, the spare mower I'm gonna put that newer blade on the one she uses um, I did, I have a balance thing and, and I, it, pretty balanced, let me just leave it that way, but we'll see when we spin up how much vibration there is. Well, there's Tux keeping me company. Doesn't he look picture perfect in front of the Wigella, which I think I'm finally saying correctly. Stripes on the other side of the gnome home. I'm getting Dawn to take this to the other side of the bridge for me. <sighs> yes. Thanks for fixing my lawn mower. It's a very important piece of equipment to keep, you know, running good for me this is next um i'm replacing the pot on the end with this pot and replanting these with um i can't decide yet begonia or impatient last year it was begonias and the deer ate them i know the deer will eat the impatients um yeah i'm not sure which not sure which but I'm just going to leave the Creeping Jenny in those two this is called Project Creep it didn't make the list but it was supposed to be on the list Don some. It's just slitting it in the ground a little bit, so I don't run over it with the lawnmower, and then you have to repair it. Have it forbid by another one. Well, yeah, I don't promise not to add more, but I'd prefer not to mess up the one I have. I'm thinking I need a planter next to the bench, a pot, a big pot. I don't have that right now. And these are planted. I decided to go in patience. I got to get water down here. And uh, we planted our first tree, the fringe tree. Yeah. I did what I thought I was going to do when I sort of see it straight ahead in there. Hit it in amongst all this other stuff. And hopefully the deer won't find it. But I'm going to put some hot sauce down here tonight. Do what I can. Phew! Yeah. We were pulling weeds all in here around the gnome hole, the stump, the big ferns, and my forsythia. We got a lot more weeds to pull, but the stuff that really matters, we've trying to keep up with it a little bit. Oh. Hey, watch that yawning. Yeah, I'm ready to take. Uh, it's not time yet. It's not time it's yet. It's not time yet. Still no. Got two more holes to do. And one other thing. Oh. That looks like so much fun. Oh, it is. It's just... He hates digging holes. He's being a really good sport. We're up on the corner of the property. And this is a beauty berry and we're planting it here because we don't need another one closer to the house and I want my pot back. You're gonna put the whole pot or just pull the beauty berry out? We're gonna pull the size of the pot. But the pot's not going in the hole, but everything in the pot, well, I'm probably gonna kill the perennial, but everything in the pot's going in the hole. I'm gonna put the um the other thing over there there was a rhododendron that didn't make it and we're gonna put it where that was the wygelia excuse me wigella is so pretty today <laughs> really enjoying it this one last year didn't have a lot of blooms so i'm super pleased at the number of blooms this year You can't dig in our yard without rocks and roots, so it's really not fun digging. I've never had a yard that was easy to dig. Maybe those yards exist, but you know, in New Jersey we had gray clay, stout stuff, whether we had rocks and 
um, other stuff in it or not. It was pretty hefty stuff. Dad had that red stuff down in Monroe. Oh God, that was horrible. It's actually pretty nice here. So we have really great soil, but then we have rocks and roots. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna be happy with them there. I did water everything in good and down all around everything I planted so far. God, it cannot be going on four o'clock. And my, my back is really upset with me. I did not do anywhere near what I wanted to do. And it just, it, it sucks that it's hurting. Don's drilling a hole in a pot for me. You're such a good boy. Kept me company all day. Yeah. Mama, love you. Yeah. Yeah, so we got the corner pieces, and we need to print two more of the side pieces, but we've got the side pieces. We don't have this straight on center piece, but you know, the one guy had this and this, and maybe he's got this one too, and I just didn't know it. All right, four corners and two on each side. <laughs> I guess Don decided we weren't flipping it again. I uh, split my hosta. There's a nice piece still over here with some impatience. And um, I planted impatience here and there's where I split the hosta from. That's headed to Michelle's house. And um, the kitties have been really good today. I haven't spent enough time with them. But they've been really good. I um, planted that Alberta spruce, Helleborus, winterberry here, and this European cedar, which I don't know that it's cold hardy, but that's fine, and winterberry here, and I got the, um, the ground cover that was in that pot out. <laughs> Dad's vine that he gave me, the name's escaping me right now, I'm super tired. Um, you know, it's hanging in there. It's a little crowded with the ferns and the ground cover, but it's hanging in there. And I got, all, like I said, I got the ground cover out of there. There's five pots of the ground cover, either to give away or to plant down by the creek where we have erosion problems and we want something pretty that will survive down there and that's it. Don put up the um, netting for me. So the deer won't come and get my flowers. He's already got his work clothes on and that was a 15 minute job and inflatables are looking good. I'm not sure if we'll be back out here tomorrow. I'm gonna leave that up to Dawn. I probably would like to get my plants out from under the house because there's some pots that I might want to put stuff in, but it doesn't have to be tomorrow by any stretch. And uh, I think it's time we went inside. Don't you, Donnie? I think it's time we went inside. Oh no, you had to turn it. <laughs> Tipped it, okay. You're the best. It's making it so my hanging basket won't fall over. I like it. Hey, Mart. It would be nice if I got to see at least the one pea and the others too, if I got to see them open. Probably gonna have to bring them inside. I didn't put up a ring and they'll get wet and they'll just fall over because they're heavy. Uh, how you um, six inches higher. Well, you know, right now it's pretty even with this one. I don't know, maybe four inches higher. I like it. Like what? Oh, yeah, I always wanted to be a farmer, but you know, <laughs> there's no vacancy. <laughs> Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I don't like messing with the dirt. So, um, you know. Well, thanks for messing with it today because you love me. Yeah. I correct. appreciate it. You're welcome, sweetheart. He dug three holes today. There are officially three other holes to dig, but they're, that one plant was big. Yeah. They're all gallon containers. So, okay. containable. Containable. C containable. I'm going to let you have some guacamole and a beer. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. only quarter to seven. Yeah. Tomorrow is ring camera install at the carport. Oh, sure. That'll be fun. Shepherd's hook move from one spot to another and it not be crooked. It's sure, currently very crooked. Yeah. 
and uh, plants out from under the house. Yeah, well, I have a thing with shepherd hooks like people have with the, the painting or picture frames crooked. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. You know, like crooked. Uh, plants out first because that keeps me going. There's some empty pots down there. That was the decision point on why that is bumped up to tomorrow. So, okay. oh God, I'm exhausted. Yeah, my back too. hurts. Yeah, well, me and my cyber truck are going to be opening up this little and, and go watch it. Uh, the masters for for the time he uh, has the guac, he'll be awake. And then when he's done with the guac. <laughs> well, I hope you're not asleep. But oh, I'll probably be asleep. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't, especially after a beer. You can watch after what you did for me today. You can watch it as oh, long as you want. I just figure you and I are both going to have us a little bit to eat and be asleep. And great. FedEx is late with my package that was supposed to be here with. I still don't have the white bamboo string, but Amazon brought me another bottle of insecticidal soap and another base. Oh, that base isn't as bright, Donnie. Oh, it doesn't light up. Wow, you just can't win. I just can't win. Well, at least they're lit up. 